back. Hello, fabulous people. Welcome to Minecraft Story Mode again. Wow, this is a bit loud, and I hope that's how this, uh, loud enough so you can hear it and I can hear it. Uh, let me just take it to 50. I feel like this is loud. Oops. There we go. Continue episode 1. Ouch, that this is cool. Wow. What happened to the walls? That's what, what happened to this whole place? This must have been where they met. So where are they then? Gabriel said that once we find the temple, the amulet would lead us to the Order of the Stone. Well, what are you waiting for? Pull it out then. Have a little Something supposed to Webcam happen. display on side. Well, that was a letdown. There's got to be something missing. Look around and see if you can find anything. I'm happy that I fixed the lag. I'm so happy. It's like a less lag, and that's good. Anyway, uh, I didn't want to wait too long because there's a lot already, like two episodes or so. So I will think I will just look here. Uh, not the, the pencil. Pedestal. Good girl. I have a little uh, webcam display on my side so I can see my hey, webcam. <laughs> it's the same as the amulet. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Okay. Well, uh, as I know, this is like, after this is blindly, so this is the last episode of episode 1. Uh, I don't remember the combination, but I think it was like this. This. Uh. Oh, not that one, not that one. Uh, I want to take this back. Please, uh, let me use you. Uh, sorry, I don't remember the combination, sorry. <laughs> And this? Uh, no. I think it's... Oh, oh, uh, then... This, I hope. It did nothing. Uh, let me then drag you back, because you did nothing. Wait, you did something. I didn't just see it, I'm blind. Uh. Then I need dread. Uh, let me just turn all the switches on. Okay, let me turn you off. Uh, and let me turn you off. Oh god, uh, I might do something wrong here. I feel like I'm already doing something wrong. Okay, that does shall off. Um, let me try you. Okay, you turn off that and turn on that. Um, let me try you. Okay, good, 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 good. I think I am doing it correctly then. Ah, you turn off those. Uh, like you turn on the correct one I wanted, but it didn't quite do, do it correctly. Um, and let me try turning not you on. Uh, wait, click on you again, because you're supposed to be off. Good, then let me try turning you off. Okay, uh, let me try turning just one on. Okay. Let me just off, everyone off. Uh, let me just use you. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, then I think I just need this then. Uh, cause that one. Oh god damn it. Uh, and this? Victory! Green, red. Absolutely incredible! That's awesome. I have to find my charger just in case. Okay. Uh. It's the order. It's showing where they are right now. 
Look, we don't know enough about how this thing works. Maybe the amulet only tracks them when they're on the surface. Or maybe it doesn't work when they're in the nether. We have to go off what we do. Oh. Uh... Petra's relying on us. That wither storm is still out there. Ah, we know still that not. Gabriel was trying to tell us something. No, the star. Hmm. We've got to find the order of the stone. There are only two whites. There are only two members of the order left. He said Soren was missing. That leaves Magnus or Eligard. Let's head out. I'm not going with you guys. I have to stay here. If I know Petra. She's probably doing everything she can to find this place. I like this to do already. She's still out there. She has to be. Just stay safe, okay? If there's even a small chance she's alive, I have to stay. Salute. Get help. I'm gonna focus on making this place safe before nightfall. This temple is pretty big, though. If we're gonna have a chance at fortifying it, I'm gonna need some help. If, uh... Maybe one of you guys can hang back with me? Sounds like Olivia will have you totally covered while me and Jesse are out finding Magnus. Finding Magnus? You really think that's how it's going to go? I like Redstone. She's the world's greatest engineer. She'll figure out a way to stop that thing. We're trying to destroy it. And when it comes to destruction, Magnus is the master. You're a smart person, Jesse. I like Redstone. I like explosions. So and I don't want I any lags. I think Axel meant Eligard there, Jesse. So, Olivia, you and I are going to Eligard's. Awesome. Axel, you stay here with Lucas. And get the Plus, I want them to be friends. What? That guy? I really want I'm them right here? Come on, Axel. For Petra's sake. Fine, I'll do it. For Petra. I'll take it. Yes, okay, I wonder what's gonna happen. Guys? Well, that's end of uh, episode one. Now, let's do episode two. Next time on Smartcraft Story Mode with 100 frames Jesse or not. And Olivia return to the nether. Intent on finding Eligard, the Redstone Engineer. And find themselves in a place of mechanical marvels, Redstone rarity. Ooh. Amazing machines, limited only by the imagination of their brilliant creator. While the great storm grows, consuming everything in its wake, time is running out for our intrepid hero. Yeah, sixty-four. I did. The, I feel like I did the choice, correct choice, getting him. Fits one. Yes, I'm with the correct people. Seventy-eight. Being in the shelter. Like who? Yes, I did something correct then. Uh, let's continue then. Let's hope for the best then. Let's do after the credits. Let's just enjoy the credits because this is the episode end of episode one. I will then I will upload uh, episode two. By the way, this is super short, but you know my decision. You know what's going to happen, and I am really happy with my decisions. Uh, this game is super great so far. I am just a bit sad that my not uh, that's not that net framework is a bit horrible right now. But I'm still trying to fix it right now. So be a bit patient. Uh, wait to lag until I fix it. Also, after episode three, uh, if episode four haven't released before, I know it. Uh, I will make a new type of series on Roblox. Uh, you will all enjoy it because it's our role play let's play. I will explain more of it in the in it. So you all in, will perhaps just enjoy it. So now let me just see what my girlfriend had text. 
Oh, by the way, I have a girlfriend. If you didn't know, I said I had a girlfriend at the end of the year or my scam video, I think. Oh, okay. Jesse, male. Jesse, female. Catherine Tabor. Amazing voice, Catherine. Oh, uh, uh, voice acting, Cat uh, Catherine. Uh, announcer. I, I'm trying to read this fast. Ingram. <laughs> oh, talking about Ingram. My teacher named Axel Ingram, not Ingram, but Inger. She's actually super horrible at. Like, she's even horrible than me in English. That's a bit funny part. Like, I feel like a genius. I still got a 4 on my novel, but. Because there was some grammar wrong, but. I know more words than she does. I'm uh, happy about that. So, let's hope I don't miss it. Uh, this recorder can get everything. I want to get everything in like one. Like section. I'll just check here. I didn't know I could pause like that anyway. <laughs> Also, I'm all alone. I could sit there and get that awesome background, but I like myself here. I like my poster. I like my wall. It's amazing in this little corner. This is possible to be this up. This is so many names. I can't even. I think I'll just add it like. Oh, Stephanie Bay Stock. Hello, Bay. Uh, oh, uh, fun fact, uh, bay or bay, bay in Danish means poop. <laughs> and my, my girlfriend took it, took it seriously. Oh, and you, wow. But, but, we you could look at, oh. Kittles! Kittles? Kittles, who's Kittles? I know who's Kittles. Uh, Max the dog. Uh, I'm trying to read all of these cat uh, pet names because I might. Kittle sounds like Skittles. I rip up for Skittles. Right. Uh... In memory of Mark Neal. I might do some research and see who's Mark Neal is. Because I've. I haven't really thought. Okay. Looks like we have episode two. Let's do this, guys. <laughs> yeah. But some red stuff. I can't. That's Magnus, and that's a uh, female. Like I can barely see that's a female with all the mask. Let's start. Oh, that little wolf. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalries. <laughs> when the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary. To do extraordinary deeds. I fell on that one. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes thrown together by fate must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? Will it? From the next six episode of Dragon Ball Z, sorry. <laughs> I like Dragon Ball. You can also minecart. This is so cool! 
the amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other. This is impressive. Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. Yeah. We have also our look. Look at the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're going to get Eligard, get her to help us, and we're going to save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh, Jesse. <gasps> Hello. I see you. I almost forgot to use the walls. More gas. The mine carts. Do something about the gas. Okay. Be fast, Jesse. What to choose? Um. Uh, I think I will. Know it. So long as you really know what you're doing with it. Oh! I hope I did the correct thing because bow and arrow can be very useful against casts. No, I want to do this. Come on. Ouch. Come on, fight me, mate. Come on, fight me. Ouch. Dead. Okay, we're all set to go again. Hitting the power tracks now. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. Isn't it better if I sit in the front? Estonia, that's Estonia, creative. That's pretty creative. <laughs> because it's redstone. To meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow, who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering? Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Of course. Ooh, a shimmer unlocked. Ooh. Wallpaper. <laughs> Our thumbnail for this episode. Ooh, that's awesome. That's awesome. If you can make that, that's awesome. No word about it. Jason Latino. Not too fast, Jason. Art direction. Mark Hammer. Jeff Shara. Matthew Leash. Only thing you missed was the switch. Jesse, 
We need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Nice try. Well, we got the boil build then. Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? Uh... I mean, I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Can you give her a message? Please. No, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? That's why I won't give you the message. We don't do tours this time of year. I must tell you. I have a message from Gabriel, okay? Eligard's old friend? Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little out. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. <laughs> Hope is it's trustable. You might also want to hang on to it. Okay, sure. That would be great. If I'm not mistaken, that should go right to Eligard's private office. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. This place is pretty complicated. Speaking of which... I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. That's Nick. That's Nick, though. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Cobabot. <laughs> <laughs> so. What does it mean? So I'll just look and search for stuff? I see that it's I think if it's trying to find it in here. Ooh! That's awesome, that's awesome. It looks at... Uh... Okay, my brother just came. <laughs> so I had to uh, pause the video. Okay, that's all. I can't but notice you checking out my catapult, friend. It's got an easy to use lever right there. Oh, I thought it was that call my butt. Or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first? <laughs> Uh, Believe me, he'll love it. I've never known a cow not to like it. Of course not. Pig, you're seriously missing out here. No. But I want to use it though. <laughs> Congratulations. You've just managed to catapult a cow for no apparent reason. Why, thank you. I only uh, just use my time here. Because I like to just look around. Uh, how am I flying machine? Look at first. A lever. I wonder what it does. Ah, someone won't stop me. Fine. Uh, flying machine. Oh. Uh. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Goodbye. So Goodbye. Sorry. That's okay. Now that the fear has completely paralyzed me, I'm almost enjoying myself. <laughs> Found some stone. Uh, I need to switch my sword because I don't need sword. Uh, fountain, no. 
Well, Disco Dude. Lava Disco. <laughs> Talk to. Hi. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely uh, the sort of creation that Elagard's future protege might make, no? Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Ooh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's this? What am I looking at exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. Perfect fusion for my two loves, cows and music. Eligard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. No. Uh, need the hand. Need a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Keep Join the on. dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. <laughs> well, I'm gonna still talk to him because I'm very curious now. Talk to. Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shore. Some people say I lack modesty. Some people just aren't as great as I am. And some people I did so. And you're a bit. I mean, yes, I do, but will I share it with you? Hmm. No, afraid not. I might need it, so sorry. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Eligard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. In real chatty with that disco friend of yours. What's he been telling you about me, huh? He's just jealous. Doesn't think I deserve to be Eligard's protege. Uh. Is this idea yours? Like 100%? Because he kinda says that you steal your ideas. All of them. That no good dirty... Ugh. Disco freak! I've got a bone to pick with you! <laughs> Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people. Guess I just call them like I see them. Ooh, you are just... Ugh. Thank you! Oh no, my machine! Oh, my cows! Oh, something's gone wrong with the clock circuit. Uh, the lava isn't switching with the water. Oh no, your amazing invention. You! You did this! <laughs> hey, I am not taking credit for any of this. That machine's been a cow death trap since block one. Oh, my cows! My poor cows! <laughs> hey, some food! I want to take them. Uh, I want to take the food, please. You stole the repair. Of course I want to steal the repair. Oh, I can't uh, take them. Lava curtain. That is flashy. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm gonna see if I can still, still, still some redstone. Talk to. So I have problems. Hi there. What? what? Look, you're gonna have to speak up there. Oh, I just said hi. Much better. What can I do for you? You want to see my TNT cannon? Uh, sure. You say something? Speak up now! Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear you. But if it's about getting into Elgard's dome, no can do. Sorry. Uh... How does your machine work? Still a work in progress. But eventually, it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around. Cool. cool. And I have no idea what I have to do with the stones I just picked up. I, I, did, I did a combination just like one, two, three, kind of. Wow. Wow. Here it is. Eligard's Redstone Laboratory. 
Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. Where's the black guy? Just hope she can actually help us. Um. I think I have to. Oh, clever. Use. Uh, look. You uh, look at device. Use device. Whoop. Well, I'm gonna just have them. Hey, uh, use device. That's actually pretty loud. Can I just enter? Okay. That's cool. Pedicle. Oh my god. That's a lot of redstones. A lot of stuff. I'm. I'm in like this. Most redstone stuff ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. Give me a moment after this cuts in. Um, okay, I'm back. Maybe I don't know. Breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Um. This. I, I don't want to take a look at Peter. I want to use the lever. Look. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Use it more. Go. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Thank you. Hey, what can I say? Me and the redstone just speak to each other. <laughs> uh -huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Yeah, I like it. Man, look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients. Now, I don't want to alarm you, Olivia, but I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Yeah. I don't know what it is yet either. That's why I'm studying it. Come on. Let's keep moving. That camera though. Uh, I don't know there what he's looking at. It looks like the, he has rather uh, look at. Look at. Um Pooh. I don't think love even go that fast, to be honest. Ooh. Another, a lot of combinations. Um, push. Are those bats? Yeah. I wonder why she even has that circuit. Uh, what? I'll talk to you. This close to meeting Eligard. Getting excited? Like you wouldn't believe. I wonder what she'll really be like in person. I wonder actually too, to be honest. Uh, pull. Oh, that was easy. Uh, zipper. That's cool. So, I do nothing then. That's swimming animation, though. Hello. This is just like I dreamt it. Entering Elgar's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Um, talk to operational delivery latency speedy. Whoa, hi, hey, didn't see you sneaking up on me. Guess that's the point. <laughs> Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Thank you. Did Calvin send you? 
You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly adorable uh. pig, that is. <laughs> Elagard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blade guy. and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. <laughs> Now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. <laughs> I think you can handle it on your own. Uh Olivia? 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 Can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Oh, so embarrassing. Everything working over Ooh. Hmm. Fine, I'll just do it myself then. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on. Big man, big. Aww. Loser. Ugh. Trial number 6,451. Another bust. It didn't explode at least. Now, about you three. Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... No. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts. Eligard, we've actually got much bigger problems to deal with. We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm, and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who, who sent you? Was it Calvin? Gabriel. Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. We know. I'm so close I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory. I've seen one of those before. It's a command block. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? I've seen that a lot. Belittling? But we are talking about some mega, ultra genius level stuff here. We've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. You're the ones who brought this. Yes. It came up, no note or anything, and I was terribly curious about where it had come from. Yes, the amulet. Gabriel gave it to me. That's how we found you. He did? Yeah. So, could we have that back? Sure, whatever. I don't even like amulets. <laughs> yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this witherstorm monster thing or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, hmm. of which I am the originator. Is that even possible? Can you really do that? This is the Eligard you're talking to. That's a good Who point. Is me, if you're confused. And I, Eligard, will make a command block today. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the... Let me just open the record. Perfect way of beating it. And maybe Will you help me make one. Okay. You work this time, I can feel it. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Wow. E. E. Ooh, that's jump though. Q. That jump. Okay. I have to tell my bat that that's the lock close the door. Um click. I think I fell, but it, it didn't seem so. Huh. 
I'm learning to craft a uh, command block, it seems. Wow. Go. Go. Wow, oh, the head butt. And I'll click on E. Oh, oh, oh. You gotta do this. Q, 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 Q. Q, 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 Q. Q, Q, Q. Q, 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 Q. That's all clicking though. And. E. Ooh, oh. And E. Okay, okay, excellent. Good. This is so exciting. Terribly exciting. Has it gotten this far before? No, never. Oh. Is it destabilizing? Whoa. Oh, no. Go. No. Don't they make me make, they this make me choose between two characters to get out of sad. Oh. Well, there we go. Uh, down. I wonder where Mouse is. There it is. It's alright. Don't worry, it's... Don't worry, don't worry. It's alright. I forgive you. Okay, let me know where you open the recorder. Because it, I, feel, I feel like... Let me just... Yes. I will perhaps change the recorder thing later in the future while I'm testing it. So, let's continue then. Wait. Do I record? Do you want to record? Therefore, okay, it's recording. E. The jump! Oh, that's... Scream. Squeak. Oh, goodbye, dude. Oh, whoa. No, no, no. I, I can't die. I'm the main character. E. E. Wait, why do I have a stone sword? Oh, shit. Over here. Oh, oh, oh. That little frame lag. Let's go. And do I click something? Do I click it? And no, I made it. No, yes. Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q Q. Ah, it's me or did I play goal like this? And go. Achievement unlocked. Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff that happened. Hello, Creeper. It's like, yeah. <laughs> okay, just a little farther. Nice shelter, mate. Certainly impressive. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Who goes there? Jesse? Is that you? Yes. Lucas, did you build all this? Well, yeah. I, I figured I would try and fortify the place, you know? Nice. I'm so glad oh. you're back. And we brought Eligard. Fantastic. Quick, come on. You guys are never going to believe who showed up while you were gone. 
Yes. Petra. Hey guys, how's it going? Spinny. I'm so glad you're okay, Petra. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it myself. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Kiss already. Back there in Gabriel's bunker. It got pretty dicey. It's such a relief to see you. I'm glad you're okay. Me too. You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches, and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. Just kiss her. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you my call. I'm so Hello. glad to see you. Did the Witherstorm leave anything? Is anything left of our home? It's all a blur, but the Witherstorm left almost nothing. Wow, that's steep. It even got Gabriel. I wouldn't believe that anything could defeat Gabriel if I hadn't seen it for myself. This is terrible. Yeah. Boy, can't remember the last time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Oh, hello, Magnus. A hunch, but do you two not like each other? Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little adventure of his own life. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? You did this on purpose. And this is a problem? <laughs> you bet it is. I will not work with him. Not after well, let's not talk about it. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So, who are you then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? Wow. That's Jesse, my best friend. Trust me, Jesse's totally cool. I'm reuniting the Order of the Stone. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the king of Boomtown. <laughs> ah, we've been bonding and stuff. I've had, like, the best day. Boomtown. That's the name of Magnus's kingdom. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament, and... Long story, you had to beat him. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnic. Bada-bing, bada-boom! <laughs> Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean, but I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Wow. Yeah, show him some respect. <gasps> wow, Axel. He's sticking up for Magnus, that's very sweet. Yeah, he's sticking up for me. It's because I'm really awesome and super Can I punch him? Would you all cut it out? Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed everything. Yeah. A little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Why? Because it's never come inside one of your little workshops. Would you two stop fighting? Whoa! Yikes. Jesse's right. I need to find some way to stop that thing. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? Can we start crafting some then? I don't think we got that kind of time. But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie, not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. Wait, Magnus, I want to hear what she's saying. 
Soren had a kind of super TNT, stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. Wow. The formidabomb. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F bomb before. <laughs> F bomb. F bomb. Uh. Yeah, I think. Let me see. Got a bit. Soren claimed that dropping the F bomb could destroy anything. Well, the Formidi bomb sounds perfect. We should go get it now. Well, there's a little problem there. You don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? No. Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether. Or the end. But it's worth a shot. He wasn't on the map. Um, do I? Okay. That's the end of, well, episode one of this part, episode two. Part one of this episode two. So, I will see you guys later in the future. I've been Lupus, and I will see if I can record this, like, weekly instead of just one day straight, because it will take such a long time, and I need, well, breath, and my oxygen, and I need well, drop around and work. Oh, so I'll see you guys later. And I hope you enjoyed. And I've been, of course, Lupus. Lupus.